Welcome to the latest edition of The View from the Booth alongside Kobe Jones, Joe Tutino on Twitter, at Kobe Jones, at Joe Tutino. We welcome your input to The View from the Booth and also the LA Galaxy. Today, we're getting ready for the Galaxy's next home game in Major League Soccer. Saturday night, they'll be home against Kansas City and the first 17,000 fans on hand get this very nice ring, commemorative championship ring, and get here early, get here often. You only get one ring, though. Thanks for being here on Saturday night. But uh, first of all, let's talk about the Galaxy 2-1-2 and two on the season, Kobe. They come home after suffering a 1-0 loss to Dallas, which was a very difficult week for the Galaxy. Two games in a week span, including Champions League. So not easy, but I think maybe there's a little trend here. we got about 80 minutes of good work from the Galaxy right now. Well, you said it right there. That's the big part. It was a very tough week. It was one of those weeks that's been a downer. I think Landon Donovan actually mentioned it. It's one of those, it's, it's a letdown. You obviously get, you know, knocked out of Champions League and then you have a game right away. It makes it very difficult. A few injuries with players. But the big point is, 80 minutes of play. It always seems to be that last 10 minutes where the Galaxy seems to stumble. And that's about concentration. That's about, you know, not thinking that it's always going to come. You really got to be very attentive and pay attention, especially those last 10 minutes of each half most important part of any game. Looking at the Galaxy from what I've seen in the broadcast booth on the radio side, it seems like a team right now trying to find its rhythm, not necessarily getting long stretches of rhythm of play, moving through the middle of the park, Juninho and Sarvis, a lot of running for those guys, but getting into the offensive end, the passing is not quite there yet. Well, that's just about sharpness. It's about players really starting to connect with each other, like you said, a little bit of rhythm. But I do feel like you mentioned that there is it's a lot of work a lot of effort on Janino and Sarvis they are covering a lot of ground in that middle I always say they are the engine of the team that's going to be an issue as we get into the summer months as the season gets you know on a bit gets a little bit warmer how do they hold up so much and then you're going to really need that connection of whoever the starting two are up top you know we've seen a few changes but how are they going to connect with those two and then if the season goes on a little bit and there might be more injuries with all the miles that they're putting on their legs, are they going to be able to connect with those players? Let's turn the page now to this week's uh, competitor or the visiting team, Sporting Kansas City. One of the first teams that actually came out and said, well, you know what, we're going to change things a bit in Major League Soccer. We're going to go to a 4-3-3. But really in Kansas City, it's about the defense. They've been a very good defensive team, not necessarily an offensive juggernaut. Well. It- Look, I, got, I love what Peter Vermees is doing there. I mean, a 4-3-3, he's saying, let's go for it. You know, that is something different for this league. But they do have a very special thing in that back four. You know, they, they've, they're starting to play together very well right now. And as of up to this point, three shots. I believe it's three shots on goal. I mean, I'm not just talking to one game total in the last few games that they played. That says something. That says that they have pride in that defense. They are playing from the first minute to the 90th minute and beyond all the way through, not just the backboard, but I think that whole team is very concerned about how how they look defensively right now. And if you can get that down as a team and an organization, when you move forward through the season, and that's a solid for you, then everything else comes along. Like the Galaxy, they have an anchor, a member of the U.S. national team at this point, Beasler there, and Saturday night you're going to see two of the defenders from the national team and maybe the, the central partnership for the future. Well, I think so, on opposite sides, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Beasler and then Gonzalez. I mean, they had a, an excellent match against Mexico. But I, I think right now it is one of those situations. Very young players still. We really, we have to realize that. But it, it, they do have the potential to be the future of the U.S. national team. When we look at Beasler, I think he did some amazing things. I think he's been solid rookie of the year before. I mean, he, he's something he's something special. And, and you go on the other side with Gonzalez, you know, he's, he's done the same thing. Rookie of the year. I mean, th- these guys are... What I like about it, big, strong, central defenders. The big question for me, for both of them, is how long they're going to be on them in, in the MLS. Also with Kansas City, they got Graham Zusi, wide at midfield that's going to provide service for them. Also this new player for them, Bieler up top, who was, who's done very well for them around the 18. Well, Zusi is, is something special. He's done a lot, you know, within the MLS structure of things. He hasn't, you know, really transition yet to the national team style but he, he will get there I think and I do like what he's doing on the wide part getting around players getting crosses in you know that's very important me being a former winger I like to see that getting crosses in any way that you can and Bieler I mean four goals right now you know he's he, he's 
a danger up front, someone that you give him the opportunity to get on the ball inside the box, most likely it's going to end up in the back of your net. So for players like Gonzalez, especially, you know, in the middle, they're going to have to make sure that they're on him at all times within reach, always able to have a hand That's on him, like they say, you know, and able to even if even if he beats you to the ball a little bit, just a little bit of a nudge. You know, get him out of the way. You know, that's important. All right, Saturday night, ring night here at the Home Depot Center. The first 17,000 fans on hand get their commemorative championship ring. The Galaxy take on Sporting Kansas City. For Kobe Jones, Joe Titino, thanks for once again viewing The View from the Booth.